Often I get asked about the hamster products that I use, like what are they, where did I get them? So I'm going to be talking about all of the current hamster products that I am using right now. So the first thing would be bedding. The two types of bedding that I actually use is the Oliving Things paper bedding as well as the Great Choice Aspen wood shavings. Now I'm not too particular about my bedding types as long as it is a safe substrate. Um, I sometimes will use Carefresh or I'll use KT Clean and Cozy. It kind of just depends on what is on sale at the time. The All Living Things paper bedding works fine, as well as I like to include Aspen in my cage setups just because it gives it a different texture and a little bit more of a natural look. The next thing is my food and water dishes. So I will use food dishes on occasion. Sometimes I will put a little bit of seed mix in here or I will put fruits and veggies or baby food. And this is just simply a terracotta, terracotta. This is simply just a terracotta pot saucer and it makes an absolute perfect hamster dish. It's not too deep or anything, it's a good size and it's really pretty looking and I got this at the dollar store. And then for my water dishes, I use little tiny tea light candle holders. I actually got these off of Amazon and they come in like a big pack and they're perfectly sized for hamster water dishes. The next hamster products that I use is my flax, wheat, and oat sprays. Um, you may have seen me use these a lot in my videos. These two brands here I've gotten off of Amazon, but I think you can also get them um, in the bird section of the pet store. And my flax sprays happen to be from Pet Value. A local farmer sells to our Pet Value, so that is how I'm able to get flax sprays. The next thing I use is hay. Now, the hay isn't for eating. Hamsters aren't herbivores, so they don't need to eat hay. They can nibble on it if they want to, but most hamsters aren't going to. But the reason I use this in my hamster cages is to make burrows more stable. When you mix in soft hays like this one, this is botanical hay. You can also use orchard grass hay, both of which are pretty soft hays. They're not going to poke a hamster in the eye or a cheek pouch, but it can really help keep the burrow really stable. And I like the botanical hay because it smells really good. The next thing I use is moss on occasion. I will stick this in spots that I think need a little bit more touch of color. Moss is safe for hamsters and this is just pillow moss that I got from Petland and it makes a really nice natural theme wooden ledges such as these. So this is actually homemade. I got the wood slice off of Amazon. You can get a big pack of different sized wood slices. And I bought some dowels. I glued them onto the bottom and this makes a perfect little ledge for your hamster. You can stick it into the bedding and it also works great for a natural enclosure. I really, really like the way they look. Next is cork logs. Now I have a ton of these and I've gotten them from many different places, but you can mostly find them in the reptile section of the pet store. And these make really great tunnels as well as you can get them off of like Amazon or reptile websites such as Pangea.com. I also use grapevine wood. Grapevine wood is one of the only safe drift woods that I know of and it's personally my favorite. You can get really nice big chunks like this one. I got this one off of Pangea.com but you can also get them off Amazon as well as once again the reptile section of your pet store. Um, they are going to come in different sizes, shapes, different twirls, all of that. So you kind of just have to look around um, and find the perfect piece. The next hamster product I use is the Woden Wheel Senior. This is an 11 inch solid running wheel. This is a great size for Syrians and even dwarfs as well. Uh, it's definitely silent. I wouldn't say it's super duper loud. Um, the only thing is if it becomes off balance and it starts like wobbling. But other than that, if it ever gets squeaky or anything, you can put a little bit of baby oil or vegetable oil on the axle and then it becomes super quiet. And I got this wheel off of exoticnutrition.com. The next product I use is really heavy and it is reptile, 
reptile sand this is it's also upside down so that really doesn't help you guys but I've opened it from the bottom it is the repti sand all natural terrarium sand now this is sand that doesn't have any added dyes or calciums to it um, this color is the natural red color which I've never really used before until now I've usually used the white colored sand but either one are fine because it is natural sand and this is super heavy <laughs> i like this sand in particular just because it is really really soft i do also sometimes use children's play sand um when i don't have access to this i did have to order this off of amazon because none of my pet stores sell repti sand anymore for some reason they all have calcium added to them which is something you don't want and now i'm going to put this down now to hold my sand i use one of these um and and we i don't know how to pronounce the brand name but this is a large hamster sand bath so the sand can fit <laughs> in here there's a little hole here it also comes with a terra cotta dish that you can put in place here um, and you can remove it if you want to but this is a really great large sand bath and it reminds me of one that you can get from roadie pet but this i actually got off of amazon.com the next hamster product is something that i absolutely love and it's one of my favorites and that is the and we um hamster multi-chamber hideout with the removable lid it has six different chambers inside of there which my hamster loves i like that it has a removable lid there's a hole here and a hole here the only thing that's bad about this is that this particular brand seems to be sold out of this hideout but there is another brand who makes the exact same multi-chamber hideout which i'll also leave the link they are from amazon i don't know if they're like the same brand just two different names but they're basically identical so this isn't really a hamster product but it goes along with the last two things and this is plasti coat fast dry project enamel and i use this on my wooden objects like the hideout and the sand bath so that if hamster pee gets on it it's not going to wreck the wood uh, this is water-based I think and it is safe it doesn't have a ton of odors from it when you paint it on a lot goes a long way and it does help protect the wood a lot the next thing is my herbs now I get my herbs from starwestbotanicals.com I have a variety in here and I actually just recently did a video all about herbs and hamsters so I'll leave that linked in the art cards above so you can go ahead and check that video out so hopefully this video was able to introduce you guys to some new products maybe and hopefully it can help you if you've ever seen something that i've used and you're like where the heck did she get that i'm gonna leave all the links down in the description bar below so make sure to go check that out and i will see you guys in my next video bye